Good morning, everybody. Listen, I am up in Des Moines, Iowa, and I am pretty excited about the fact that I'm headed over to a DZ, DZ, um, the truck accessory people, and they're about to accessory my truck. So um, if you guys are new to the channel or if you missed the video where I did the uh, factory tour of DZ, I'll link that up in the description box. Um, today's going to be, you know, kind of a informal vlog um video walkthrough of my truck the new setup i'm doing with the uh the tennessee trailer uh, tntr uh, kayak series trailer and then i'm kind of going to walk you through some of the modifications and i'm going to ask you guys for input on some of the modifications that i do and then along the way we're going to slide in some giveaways and some promotions sorry i haven't been as active on the channel uh man some crazy stuff's been happening um life stuff obviously and uh you know that got in the way um but we're over the hump now we're uh, we're doubling down on content we've got a pretty aggressive content creation schedule scheduled for the remainder of this year and all of 2020 so uh, appreciate you guys for all your support thanks for those of you that have uh that have stuck with me over the years and for all of y'all that are new hopefully uh you didn't come in and get disappointed by the lack of content over the last month or so so right now we're going to head over to dz uh, truck accessories i'm here in des moines iowa it is uh it's cold, um, but it's not as cold as I thought it would be. But anyway, we're gonna head to DZ and uh, get my new uh, get my new Ram, get my new Ram, get my new Lone Star. Get that Lone Star decked out, baby. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Right, guys so i made it over here to dz um almost got hit by an 18 wheeler turning into the parking lot because <laughs> there's a few of them here and i'm back here with this dude you guys remember josh josh is like the man at dz what is your actual job title i've asked you this before my business card says sales a sales what is it that's sales. crap I'll he go, pretty I'll much he pretty much just does everything it should say josh dz everything yeah as long as i make kelly happy everything else is, is <laughs> make the president happy make the president there you happy. go everything else works out so look man let me ch show you what i brought i brought two things i brought that i brought the ram so we're gonna we're gonna ram it up right we are we are got a lot of stuff and then on. i threw this on because what would go better with an awesome tennessee trailer than a tennessee dz edition trailer so i got a few ideas the beautiful thing about this guy right here though is this head a lot like this head is full of ideas so i tend and lack of hair i tend yeah same haircut <laughs> I, I tend to not try to stifle this guy before i say hey man what i want to do is i want to deck my trailer out he's like all right cool and i know what's already happened the gears are turning i just sent him a link to it so he could kind of start the ball rolling i got a few ideas and i think what we're going to come out with together is going to be the ultimate like the ultimate kayak fishing trailer the the tennessee dz edition kayak trailer but first and foremost first order of business is to get the ram started in its transformation so i brought the i brought the other truck here and finished the transformation then flipped it three or four times and tore it up yeah and then yeah, it here was, it was, looked different <laughs> afterwards <laughs> here we're going to start the transformation for you guys that aren't familiar with what happened i was in a little accident a little while back i'll cut to a couple of those pictures right now and now we're starting over so here we go all right, Josh, do me a favor. Tell me exactly what we're doing here. So we've we've kind of just gotten started. So what is this so that, that's our, product our, referred to as? That's our DZ cab rack. So this is where it all started back in like uh, 2007. Uh, we launched our line of cab racks. We have it without mesh like this. Uh, we have it with mesh like the one that's sitting over there on the uh, transfer tank. Uh, so this is kind of the, the building block that will become the Overland kit, or in your case, the Outdoorsman kayak killer kit it's so still overland. it's mean, a, it's overland. overland to get to the water you, you do you do you do go camping every once in a while because <laughs> i mean let's face it that's what overlanding is is camping exactly you know so my wife refers it to it as, it's like what yuppies call camping off-road so overland has almost took on this whole separate deal um so we're like in the in the shooting industry when i was a when i did combat star in the navy we go to all these shooting conferences and you got these shooting people there and you got the people with the 511 tactical pants and the fanny pack. Overlanding's almost gotten there for people who drive overland vehicles. But anyway, here we go. Sorry. So my wife said, Explain to them what you meant mesh real quick before we go too so far. So yeah, so if you come over here, we have we have, we have for that same one with a mesh 
in it. That's that Texas Oklahoma headache rack. Right? <laughs> that that is that construction uh, worker. So back to your wife. Oil field. My uh, wife refers to overlanding or camping as you spend thousands of dollars to live like you're homeless. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. <laughs> uh, so. So yeah, so it's just like the guys, it's just like when folks go fishing, right? And then there's dudes that say that they, well, but I eat them. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you really did the math on how much you spend fishing. on rods, reels, lures, line, gas, kayaks, and everything, the it. fish you would eat would be like $750 <laughs> a pound. That's the same yeah. thing with hunting. Yeah. I love hunting. And obviously, I, and honestly, I haven't bought new gear and hunting for a while. But for me, hunting, I actually do make money on it because I kill so much protein that it saves money but yeah. fishing is a lot like you said you, spend tens of thousands of dollars to live like you're homeless you, you better live you better you better love what you're doing because you don't go fishing to save money on the fish no no because no. every grocery store in the world you can get better fish for less money right 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 <laughs> so yeah. yeah so these are our cab racks and these will be the the building blocks for what will become the overland or the the kbf kayak hauler gear hauler um you know, outdoor adventurer outdoor whatever you want it to be it's what it's your world. I'm just living in it. So All right, guys, so listen, we did a little bit of the, uh, the time lapse. I wanted to show you a little bit of the assembly process, but then I ran out of battery on one of my GoPros, and I wanted to focus on getting this thing done because it's a couple days before Thanksgiving, and I got to get back home to family. So here's the deal. Let me give you the quick run through of this new Overlander setup on my truck from the folks at DZ. This thing is bad to the bone. Let me, uh, let me show you around. All right, so first and foremost, they set me up with this uh, cargo management system that basically just ties right into the existing setup in my RAM. And so now I have a little cargo management system in here. Hooked me up with another crossbar right here that I can attach to the roof right here to put an accessory. I got a uh, prototype of the old DZ Overlander shovel that I'm going to put to work. So this right here is kind of uh, a unique thing that DZ does. It's a metal system that's based off the same concept as a Molly uh, system for gear packs in the military. And uh, it's gonna make attaching stuff to the truck real clean, real modular, real easy. They got tie down fittings that go in there. And then they also hooked me up with this, uh, this bed mat to protect my truck. And uh, I think that thing is pretty bad to the bone, but let's, uh, let's get into the system that we, uh, <laughs> that we came here to get. So this is their, basically their truck rack system got a, ha a handhold here got a load stop here we basically connected two crossbars across the system as you can see there and I'll do some different angles of this when I'm done with the walkthrough and then we attach the the long tubes here that make it that overlander system put a small molly in the front a large molly in the back and we're gonna play around with some different stuff some roto packs some uh, uh, high lift jacks and things along those lines that tie into this system Got another handle up here that makes it easy to step on the wheel and then simply reach up, grab that handle, pull yourself up. And so what I've done here is I've mounted my Yakima uh, topwater box up there for putting my rods in. And so as you can see here, got a couple crossbars. And then what we did is we mounted my traction boards, my uh, ARB traction boards right there underneath what, in a place that I would consider at least right now as unusable space easy to get to uh, if you're gonna get stuck you're gonna want to come to the back of the truck because there's your wheel and so putting it right there kind of out of the way I won't always leave them there uh, if I'm not going off-road uh, I'm probably gonna take them off but simply take this knob and loosen it up and it comes right off and it mounts directly to that track got another handhold back here this is mostly for Christy to be able to grab a hold to that to jump in the back of the truck they hooked me up with this bumper step right there easy to step on I had one of these on my other truck but it had to fold down it was a constant pain in the butt to sit there so we went with the fixed one that the folks from DZ make here 
that allows me to step there, grab here, pull up, and get up, get up there to tie my gear down, to rearrange stuff, to organize stuff, or to get in and out of the back of the truck. So again, the transformation of my Lone Star Ram from the folks at San Marcos is underway. Pretty excited about the transformation so far. Got the engineers from DZ in here, taking a look at the trailer, making a couple of quick modifications. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna partner the folks with DZ up with the folks with Tennessee Trailer. And then we're going to have a Tennessee edition DZ trailer. So what we're doing just here to start with, is putting a long tube across the top. That'll allow me to mount some camera mounts up there. Paddle holders, it'll give me an opportunity to put a couple of T braces across there for different accessory options. And then just play around with using that hex series system for stabilizing the trailer a little bit. But again, met with this guy right here. So what he's gonna do, this is Bart from, uh, from DZ. He's one of the engineers. And so we kind of spent about two hours batting ideas around on how we can incorporate the hex system into the Tennessee trailers for a Tennessee DZ edition trailer. So got some ideas. He's gonna take them to the ideas. He's gonna take them to the drawing board. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can't make the ultimate in kayak fishing adventure trailers. But for now, we're just gonna drill a bunch of holes in it. Right? Yep. <laughs>